Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today is another day. Today is actually Friday. I don't have any class today, so I, uh, I didn't get into class or anything like that. But as y'all see, I got my, turn my garage into a little workout area or whatever. So, I'm about to get this workout in. I've been bullshitting. I haven't been in the quote unquote gym. I do stick out my gym membership too. Me and my brother haven't been, he been working out more than me. And y'all probably haven't seen my brother Brian in a while. But Brian ain't got swole. He ain't got swole. So I'm, I'm trying to get back into the gym or whatever, build my strength back up and everything like that. But it's out here raining, like, I'm pretty sure y'all can hear it. Yeah, it's out here raining. But I'm trying to get it in or whatever, then I think I'm gonna go to Target, get some Epsom salt. Cause I noticed, <clears throat> that's just why I be like, I work out hard one day or whatever, and then the next coming days I don't work out as hard. I be sore and I work tomorrow tomorrow at four in the morning so I already know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be drained so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this or whatever get to it and then I haven't even picked my beard out of nothing um turn I woke up turned in my assignment because my professor forgot to turn he forgot to put the link when we could turn it in yesterday so I turned in my lab report and uh watched a couple YouTube videos watch the new videos out right now um and came out here finish this up and then take my shower and stuff and then if it slow down hopefully go to target target is just a vibe I've been watching YouTube videos people at target like I even put on Twitter I was like man I just feel like I might just go to target and just walk around but when I was like I was like I can go to target and get some Epsom salt so I might go do that or whatever but hopefully it slow down even though the, the target ain't nowhere far it's right right up the street so but We'll see. So let me go ahead and get back. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to hit that, uh, putting it all the way up, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't squatted in a little minute. I probably could do it, but am I gonna do it today? No, I'm not. But, uh, I just threw on a little weight on there, on the side of the 45s. So, I threw the 10s on. So, this damn medicine ball shit, bro. Excuse my language. This medicine ball was a good investment. I still have one more investment that I really want to buy, which is the battle ropes. I keep saying my bomb, but I just haven't got to it. Um, I've been paying a lot of bills and stuff, so bills come first, but I'm gonna eventually get them. I could get them today, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not, but, oh, Joe. This man, Joe, gloves and been over here for like this been like what three months probably joe your gloves still here bro they still here boy joe didn't come get his gloves come get a good workout session but we haven't worked out in a while now that was really the plan for this summer actually but as y'all see things and then took another course but let me go ahead and wrap this up and um we'll see that's all I'm saying.
I just I just been working on. I just remember I ain't doing no deadlifts, so I guess I might do deadlifts another time, maybe tomorrow or the day after, whenever I decide to work out again, which most likely will be tomorrow. But I'm finished for today. Now I'm about to hop in the shower, maybe start editing some of these clips or whatever, and go from there. And I, like I said, I do want to go to Target, get some Epsom salt, stuff like that. So we'll see how today goes. It's actually about to be two o'clock. So we'll see. Alexa, play Brent Fires. Brent Fires from Apple Music. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually burnt a mess out of my beard. This, I, I shaved my beard off like around before the year ended, I think it was. Back in November, I shaved it off. Yeah, right before Thanksgiving, I shaved it off because it was damaged and I was just going over and shaved it off. So I shaved it off, grew it back. And on my birthday, birthday week, like probably June 8th, probably June 9th, June 10th, one of them days, I actually burnt my beard. Like, all this was burnt, all this, eyebrows, edge up, all that was burnt. Cause I was trying to barbecue pit. That'd be a story for another day, but yeah, I thought I was done. I, I thought my eye was messed up cause this eye right here had like a little like something in it. I thought I was done, man. I was about to go blind. Cause it had like a little white mark in it on my people. No, what's it called? People? People, people, whatever it's called. I thought I was done. But God saved me. So all I did have my boy Jock. Once I did go to the barber, had my boy Jock trim off. Trim off the burnt, like the edges. I'm good now. Starting to grow back. So we'll see. Just take a moment, look at my beard, man. Just look at it. Let it gloss. Right. Now it's time for me to pick it up. So I'll see y'all when I come back from time. I'll to speed this process up. All right, what's up, man? I just came back from Target. Um, me and my mama just actually came back. She came with me. We went to Target, and she wanted to go to Ross, so we went to Ross, too. Um, but from Ross, I picked up some sheets. I did need some new sheets because the sheets that I have, every time I go to sleep, whenever I go to sleep, it's like my sheets come up off the mattress. Like, I'm always, like, I'm tired of that. So hopefully these right here fit. They say it fits up to a 16 inch mattress. And I think my mattress is maybe like, I think my mattress is like 12 inches. Hopefully it fit, cause I'm tired of this. I'm really am. Um, so I'll be putting these on in a little bit. That's what I got from Ross. Um, from Target, I actually got some um, Dove for men, a little sponge, cause I like using these little loaf, whatever, loofahs. I was about to say loafers. I like using these little loafers. And I buy the ones that like a dollar. They, they don't last. But after I bought this, I went to Marshalls. And I seen they had, I bought this for $3.99. I went to Ross, I mean. And I seen they had a three pack of the nautical, like little loafers, like the, like the regular ones, for $3.99. So I, like, I could have got that. But we're going to see if this one right here lasts. I'm going to try it out. And I was going to buy some old body wash. Um, I have really two body washes I use. I either use the Dove for men or the um, Harry's. Harry's is a good one. 
I forgot what color. I think it's the blue one. I think it's the blue one I messed with. The blue one smells so good. But is it the blue one or is it the green one? It's one of them that smells real good. But I do know the Delphi Men smells good too because I actually had a woman tell me after I left her house that my my linger stayed in her bed. So, fellas, if you're looking for a, a good body wash that's going to that's gonna last, that's going to have the women going crazy, that Delphi Men ain't going to fail you. I always typically always keep the body washes on point or the uh, cologne. I got the whole collection in my closet of cologne. I did get some uh, Epsom salt, like I told y'all, the Dr. Tills. Pure Epsom salt soaking solution wellness therapy with rosemary and mint. I already felt my uh, thighs and stuff tightening up from the squats. And I ain't even go, I ain't even kill it today. So I already felt this, so I already know about that. That's more deodorant. Um, once again, Dove for Men. I either use this, I use Harry's. I actually got the Harry's right now. Or I use um, Art of Art of Sport. I think, I think that's AOS. That's another one. Basically, I always spend some money on some deodorant. This right here is just a regular stain, defense, fresh. But smell pretty good but um so i always buy i always try to keep at least two deodorants so right now i know that i'm on my harry's one that i got i got that's my only one that was left so i bought this one mm. and then i got some hangers a little 10 pack it was seven dollars at target so I'm, I'm i have no more hangers like i got stuff that's just laying in my closet clothes that i can't even put up because i don't have no more hangers so this was a good investment i bought these so it is what it is so um i did start a video i close I, I actually closed out this vlog by doing the video that i wanted to start which was um giving my giving my dad his props um i feel like typically we always give our mother our prop their props but i think i think i want to give my father his props um and i think this is the video to do it so i go ahead and close out this this right here is irritating man it's very irritating <laughs> But I go ahead and give my pops his, uh, his props. So, um, like I was saying, um, on this road to me graduating, man, I, I didn't came so many hurdles. I wanted to quit, you know, and just, not even just the school stuff, just um, observing my pops. You know, seeing how he maneuvered, how he handled things. Um, it didn't really click to me while I was younger, you know. It didn't really click, but now that i've got older and I'm, I'm close to the finish line of finishing school and all that i understood everything like it's all starting to make sense to me everything my dad's been telling me over the years um you know the importance that he always put on education um i used to i'm not gonna say hate it but i just didn't i just didn't i just didn't comprehend it you know i always thought like oh he don't know what he's talking about or you know or you know he just be tripping or something like that but now I see everything that he's been teaching me over these years. It's I'm very I'm starting to understand it all, you know. Even when it comes about the women and stuff like that, my, my pops always like right now everybody going through the era of man leave women alone, focus on getting your money this and that. My pops was telling me that from the jump, and I just didn't I just didn't process it, you know. He always told me he's like you know like don't get too serious. He always told me that. And being my dad from uh, Nigeria, you wouldn't think I would. That's, that's personally, I wouldn't think that he knew that much, you know. So I was like, man, he don't know what he's talking about this and that. But he always gave me the game, like, man, focus on your schoolwork, focus on getting a job, securing something. So if you do have a family, you'll be able to be, you know, successful. Everything you have, everything taken care of. Um, I just had, I just had recently had to talk with my pops, and he was um, preaching the same stuff. Like, man, don't get. He's basically saying to dumb it down. Or to make it into, I'm not going to say that, to make it into more relatable terms of what's going on in America. He basically was telling me, don't get no masculine woman, which I already know that. But he was telling me that, he's like, you know, basically get you a woman that, that knows how to be a helpmate, you know. Um, you know, a woman that you click with, you know. Um, it, it was, he was giving me the whole game, like the spill. We had re I talked recently, he was telling me that, you know, um, but... 
my pops always been about education, always, always. Me and my brother and my sister always told us education, education. So um, everything that he taught me, I'm realizing it, and I'm making sure my brother don't go through the issues that I went through or make the mistakes that I went through. I'm, make, I'm making sure of that, you know, that's my goal. My pops always told me to, he said, look out for your brother. He was like, y'all two look out for each other. He was like, you know, teach him everything, like everything that I know, whatever teach him so that's what i'm doing now like the mistakes i made in school stuff like that i'm making sure my brother don't go through that route like he about to graduate my brother just turned he's 20 he'll be 21 in january he's about to graduate in about a year year and a half i'm 25 just now about to graduate so that makes you know it starts to make sense like how i dragged on school the mistakes i made stuff like that so which i don't regret it at all because i don't have that much debt like some people, some people got 30 40 50 thousand dollars worth of debt I roughly, roughly only have about twelve thousand, twelve thousand dollars worth of debt when it comes to school. In school, we focus, you know, and I, I like that. And, um, and my pops was telling me with the talk with him, like, I'm proud how you, how you're making sure your brother don't make no mistakes. You know, you're teaching them everything, you're keeping them close, and, and you know, stuff like that. So I, I like to thank my pops, you know, because to be honest, without him, I probably wouldn't be in there. I wouldn't be in this position. You know, um, I think my mom too. I think both of my parents were being together because there was things that I was, me and my sister and them was doing. It was before my brother was born. We was doing with, with my mom when they both used to work. And it was just, it was hectic. We was doing what we weren't supposed to be, <laughs> we weren't supposed to be doing it at all. So I really appreciate my mom for um, taking a step back and um, being that, that that mother that made sure that gave us that love and, and, and attention and made sure we was on a narrow path at home, made sure home when we came home from school, everything we had meals, we didn't have to fend for ourselves and stuff like that. So I thank her for that, and I think my pops were always hustling, like no matter what. Whenever um, I needed money for school, stuff like that, or even when I was in college, you know, in college when I needed money for school and stuff, it would be times when my pops didn't have no money, you know. He was, he, was, he, was, he was down to his last and he'll tell me, he'll be like, hold on, hold on. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be like the weekend. That Sunday is the, money, the day that money is due. It'll be Friday and I'll start paying. He's like, chill, I got it. He, next thing you know, he pops up Saturday, Saturday night or Sunday morning with the money. You know, he he out there hustling. So I, um, I don't think my pops ever really noticed that I, I paid attention, you know, and it, it all clicked to me. And um, once I do get a good job, you know, and stuff like that, I'm going to make sure they receive their flowers, you know, um, without a doubt. That's like one of my top priorities, you know, make sure my parents receive their flowers. And I don't think I ever told my pops that I really appreciate it. I think I told my mom, but I never really told my pops that, you know. Um, it's just, I don't know, I'm just not an emotional man, nothing like that, you know. And I get that from him because he was never really an emotional man, you know. He was there for us, you know, stuff like that. But he was, he never gave that, like, that, that soft side. He's always a masculine man. And I believe that's where I got this from, the way I am. Because I don't, I rarely cry. I think the only time I ever really cried was, like, at funerals. And that was, like, my uncle's funeral. Rest in peace, my uncle Arnold. And my uh, Aunt Cat funeral. That was my great aunt. Yeah, she passed. That's that's that's, 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 that's the last time I cried. Like the last funeral I cried at was her funeral. Um, I don't really. I'm not really an emotional man. I think I got that from him. You know. Um, he really showed me how to be a man. You know, and and, and I really appreciate that. Um, can't thank him enough. To be honest, if we being honest, I really can't. I can't thank him enough, and I, I really appreciate him. You know, and I'm gonna make sure he receives his flowers without a doubt without a doubt because them two them two put in work to raise us truly um so i really appreciate them you know i really appreciate i really appreciate my mom um <clears throat> stepping up and taking care of the house and helping us at home you know when it came to times with our homework and making sure we had food making sure the house was clean um giving us that love and attention and I appreciate my pops for also being there too. Um, even though he was working, he was still able to come back and let us know, you know. I really appreciate him showing us the role of what a man is supposed to be, you know. And I appreciate my parents because they, I remember when I was talking about who's in, who's in Target, she, uh, she was like, why I keep singing this anniversary? Their anniversary is coming up, I think, tomorrow, a couple of days from now. 
you know, and I think it's like 30 plus years of them being together. And I want to say, ooh, I want to say like 11, 12 years of them being married, something like that. So it's been a while and I appreciate them for sticking together, you know, as long as what a two-parent household can do. And I always said I would never be a statistic. And I owe that praise to them to make sure I don't be a statistic. Because there was plenty of times I could have went the wrong route. Plenty of times. But I don't know. They just, they, they was there for me. And I appreciate that. I really do. So, to my pops. Even though I gave my mom props in this too. But, so, mom, you know, I love you. To my dad. I love you too. This video right here is supposed to be about you. But I throw both of y'all in there. But I really appreciate y'all doing what y'all had to do for us and letting us know, you know, and um, showing us how a two-parent household can function. And y'all did the best y'all can, you know. Um, were they perfect? No, nothing was perfect, but pretty much damn near perfect. So it is what it is. Um, as I close out this video, I really supposed to, I got my green juice in the refrigerator that I blended up yesterday. I was supposed to be drinking that, but I didn't drink it. Um, I forgot, but I just remembered it right now. But, I'd like to thank y'all for watching, man. The other video should be up, like I said earlier. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, edit, start editing this video. when my food come, eat my food or whatever. But, um, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Um, not doing too much and nothing, just sitting back cooling. So, make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all uh, be safe out there. You know, this whole pandemic stuff going on. If you look at my overages, I actually caught the COVID and all that. So, be safe out there. But subscribe and go on. Keep coming back. I got more and more for y'all. Let's take a moment. Just look at my beard, man. I know y'all seen the process of me putting it on. And I said putting it on, moisturizing it and stuff, getting ready. So, yeah, man. Go ahead and just look at my beard, man. See how it's just glistening? Shout out to my boy Jock too. Yes, sir. Um, if you in Houston, my boy Jock is the man to go to. Best barber. I don't care. He don't he don't give himself enough of praise. He's so humble. That's that's a damn good barber, man. And I appreciate you, bro. So yeah, man. Make sure y'all subscribe. Um and comment, man. It's your boy Ramonis Jr. And I'm signing out.